Yeah, let's check out the internet and see what's on it today. Server not found. What? If you're having problems like this with your Wi-Fi, there's some top reasons why, and today we're going to discuss them and maybe you can fix yours. Let's get started. Just like with any other electronical problems, you should start at the plug. And this equipment is kind of like our plug. You want to make sure that your equipment that is coming into your house is working. Have you tried other computers on the network and are they working? Or has a password been changed recently? And have you tried rebooting the router or the modem that comes in? And these are all things that you should do first before you go messing with your computer. If the answer is you're not sure, I would recommend resetting both your Wi-Fi router and the DSL or cable modem that comes into your home. Nearly all home networking equipment comes with a reset button and it's found here on the back as a small hole and you generally have to use like a little pin or something small and poke it in the hole and push while it's running you'll hear it click and then let go and that will reset your modem or DSL router and I recommend doing it for all equipment where the signal comes in go ahead and reboot the computer try it again and see if this works if not let's go on to the next tip something you can try if you have an ethernet cable such as this one is plug it directly into your router from your internet service provider and if your computer works with the Wi-Fi with this cable then you definitely have a Wi-Fi problem also while you're at the laptop make sure that the wireless switch is on on some laptops there's a switch like this HP that has a switch to turn on and off the wireless also some laptops have key combinations that will turn this off and on let me show you that on this Toshiba, you can turn on and off the Wi-Fi by using the F8 key. You hold down the function key and press F8 to toggle off and on the Wi-Fi. Just make sure that your Wi-Fi is on. Okay, so we've checked and made sure our Wi-Fi is on and running. Now it's time to turn on the computer and look at our little icon for our Wi-Fi. It's located here on a Windows machine by the clock and it looks like this. If you don't see it here, you can try clicking on this triangle. It may be hidden. Once you locate it, go ahead and click on it and see if there are any connections available to you. If this list is not present, there's nothing in here, then you need to go back and review the steps that I talked about earlier. If you're connected to a device already, it will say connected here. If not, you should connect to it by clicking on it and connect. Once connected, you can go ahead and try the internet again and make sure that you refresh. If you're already connected to a device, you can try to click on it and disconnect. Wait for the message of connected to go away and then click on it again and reconnect. Once reconnected, go ahead and launch your internet again and refresh the page and see if that helps. There's always a chance that the password may have changed and it doesn't hurt to look and see what the password is. Click on the wireless settings again and open the network and sharing center here found at the bottom. Click. Once in the Network and Sharing Center, you can click on the Manage Wireless Networks button here. This is a list of the wireless networks that are saved in your system. And if you click on the one that you use, you can click on the Security tab and you can click on the Show Characters for the Network Security Key here and review that the password is correct. Perhaps you just have a wrong password in here. 
some Windows versions will not connect even though um, it says it's connected simply because the password's not correct. If you're still not able to connect to the internet, let's go ahead and dive a little deeper. Click on the start button and inside the search box type in device manager. Click on device manager. Inside the device manager list look for a topic called network adapters and there will be a little triangle beside it and if you click on the triangle it will drop it down. Inside this list look for something called wireless LAN card or wireless adapter here. We can right click on this and we can uninstall by clicking here. Okay. What we're doing is we're deleting the wireless adapter and then we're going to bring it back and this will sometimes reset. Now that we've deleted the adapter, the only one left is our fast Ethernet controller, which is our Cat5 connection. If you click on Action and Scan for Hardware Change, you can see that it's automatically going in and getting the drivers for that device that we deleted. And here it is, our USB wireless LAN card. Once that's been done, go ahead and close the device manager. Open back up your wireless. You'll have to re-choose your wireless connection that you wish to use and connect. You may have to put in a security key at this point. Okay. Go ahead and launch our internet and refresh the page. And there we go. So if you've tried all these tips and you're still having problems, perhaps your wireless internet card is bad inside your laptop. And no fear, that's not a big deal to change. However, I will tell you that uh, most of the time it's not the card. In repairing computers, I find very few cases that actually have bad cards. Usually it's just the settings or wrong passwords. However, if you want to replace your laptop Wi-Fi card, I made a video on how to do that and follow the link here on how to replace your laptop Wi-Fi card and give that a whirl. Sometimes just getting a new card will give you new drivers and that may fix your problem. And you can usually find the cards on eBay and places like that for 15 to 20 dollars. So I thank you for watching. If you got some use out of this video, give us a thumbs up and let us know your experiences in the comments below. We appreciate you watching. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.